Good evening. My son, Sergeant Brandon Mendoza, was killed two years ago by an illegal alien who was a repeat criminal. Every one of the crimes that he committed had laws that should have resulted in court-mandated jail time, but it didn't happen. Instead, I had my son's life stolen from me by a man who was three times the legal limit drunk, was high on meth, and drove for over 35 miles the wrong way on four different freeways. And he had no business being in this country. My son was an intricate part of a community, and his death has left a large void in many people's lives. This is a good cop story that was cut short. He was a modern-day beat cop. He went door to door and met everyone in his beat. They invited him in for dinner. He checked in on the elderly. He got drug dealers out of the neighborhood. He advocated for children. He provided an annual Thanksgiving dinner. He shopped for children at Christmas, and he inspired children to stay in school. A memorial is still up in the area he patrolled. My son's life was stolen at the hands of an illegal alien. It's time that we have an administration that cares more about Americans than about illegals. A vote for Hillary is putting all of our children's lives at risk. It's time for Donald Trump. Thank you. Sadly, I have a similar story to, to share with you. My best friend, my rock, my son, Dominic, my only child was also killed by an illegal immigrant. I call them illegal aliens. He was an amazing young man who was loved by all. He was fun, generous, outgoing. He was also in law enforcement. He was a 911 dispatcher and pursuing his dream to be a helicopter pilot for the police department. Life was good, his future looked bright, until a criminal, illegal alien turned his car in front of him riding his motorcycle to work, and he killed him instantly. The killer was from Guatemala and had previously been deported with a felonies for armed robbery and grand theft. After returning to America illegally again, he was caught drunk driving. No license, no registration, no insurance, and he got probation. Another DUI, another probation. Five weeks later, while barely under the legal limit of being drunk, he killed my dom. He was given a misdemeanor and served just 35 days in jail. I have been talking about illegal immigration since 2012, since he got killed, and no one listened until Donald Trump Donald Trump is not only my hero, he's my lifesaver. <laughs> Hillary Clinton, or as we know her, Crooked Hillary, always talks about what she will do for illegal aliens and what she will do for refugees. Well, Donald Trump talks about what he will do for America. USA, 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 
USA, USA, USA. We need to enforce our immigration, our existing immigration laws. We need to secure our borders so no other person has to ever go through this kind of grief, pain and agony knowing this could have been prevented. Build the wall and Americans need to come first. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to the RNC for the invitation to speak about my beloved son, Jamil Jazz Shaw II. Special thank you to my friend, the undisputed GOP nominee, and the next President of the United States, Donald J. Trump. On March the 2nd, on March the 2nd, 2008, my life changed in a twinkling of an eye. One minute, I'm hearing my son's voice. Be right home, old man. I'm right around the corner. Next minute, gunshots, and Jazz is dead. I saw the hole in his head and blood everywhere. It happened so fast, Jazz was still holding his phone. At the same moment, his mother was serving in our military overseas. The day we buried Jazz, LAPD came to my home to tell us they found a killer. For two weeks, local politicians supported us, and every black politician in LA did too. They even put up a permanent memorial. Two weeks after that, everything changed. We learned the killer was an illegal alien gangbanger from Mexico. Released from jail with a deportation hold, three gun charges, and an assault and battery on a police officer. And the politicians disappeared. In 2012, we finally had our day in court. The DA proved Jazz was murdered because he was black. The coroner testified while Jazz was on his back bleeding from a stomach wound. His hands were up and a second bullet went through his hand and into his head. It was also proved that the killer's gang targeted black males. You think Obama cared and black lives mattered. No, and we all know Hillary is Obama's third term. Only Trump called me on the phone one day to see how I was doing. Only Trump will stand against terrorists and end illegal immigration. The wall, built the wall. Only Trump mentions Americans killed by illegals. Trump will put America first, not crooked Hillary. I'll say it again, like I said it before, Trump is sent from God. Support Trump, Pence, let's come together and make America safe and great again. Thank you. Welcome.